Precious, Precious Lord, lead me on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Greetings to the mighty name of Jesus, the Savior. Wet day today. Thank you for being here. Amen. Made it through the rain and uh, looking forward to see Pastor Williams. We have our second speaker here, Bishop Dennis Nemhard. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From Born Again Shiloh Apostolic Church, right here in the Bronx. Right here in the Bronx. So we won't delay. We're going to go right ahead. Uh, Sister Reed, since you're here, you're going to be doing the praise and worship for us. All right? Just five minutes of praise and worship. All right? Praise God. And uh, we will uh, then get on to our speaker. I'll reach out to Pastor Williams in a few minutes. Let's stand everywhere uh, and turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 133. We're going to read that scripture. It's a scripture of uh, unity. As you know, the vision for this, I'm so glad to have Bishop here. Uh, it's, we have never done this in the Bronx before, and uh, denominations really divides us. And uh, there are many sheep of the fold the Lord said he will call. And uh, we just want to make sure that the gospel is preserved in its entirety. But, you know, if this gospel be hid, it's hid from those who are lost. And uh, if we are the light of the world, then we have to make sure our light shine, not in brightness, but in the darkest of areas. Amen. There's an old song. I think Curry may know the song. Be burning. Send the beam across the way. Some poor, fainting, struggling seamen, you may rescue, you may save. All right, that's the song that reminds us that we have to send a light. And that ship, when it comes to harbor, there are no lights on the harbor. You saw what happened in Maryland. No lights. And it took down the entire bridge. So if we are not the light of the world, then the world will be in care. Amen? I think that's a beautiful analogy. It's present in our minds. That's what sin will do. Uh, they will hit and they will crumble. But we are the light. The Bible says we are the light and we are the salt. So let's read together Psalm 133. Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even light. You may wonder why I open with this text. When you look at the doxiology, it's also Aaron. Then, when you pronounce on the children, the Lord bless thee and the Lord keep thee. Notice the Bible said brethren. It didn't say apostolate. It didn't say Pentecostal. It didn't say Baptist. It didn't say Presbyterian. It says brethren. Once you believe in Jesus Christ, uh, we now have to impart to you the undulterated word, the truth. Amen? As the disciples on Emmaus Road says, uh, our hearts burn within us. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for today. God, this day we know as Holy Thursday. Oh, God, is this day, Lord God, when, oh, God, you are gathered together with your disciples. God, this was your last supper with them. Lord, you looked there, and there was Judas. You said, there's one of you here that sup with me that will betray me. God, Judas cried out, is it I? It is I. But, Lord God, you are so gracious. You are so sovereign that, God, you even stooped down and you wash his feet. Oh, my God, and you gave him, oh, God, the last supper. So it is, Lord God, none of us here, oh, God, are righteous in our own self. But as you said, if we are confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive. You call us, my God, to walk before you and be the holy, 
Oh, God, as you are holy. God, today, God, we are going to be drawing nigh to your table. Oh, God, a time to remember, oh, God, the, the cruel death, oh, God, that took place 2,000 years ago on the cross of Golgotha. We pray, Lord God, thank you for Bishop Nemhard. Thank you for Pastor Williams on his way. And all the saints who are gathered and the brethren who are here. I pray, God, you hasten them step, Lord God. Even you, Jesus, when you were making your way to Golgotha, oh, God, you, Lord Jesus, falter, oh, God, three times. But you got up and you make it to the end. We pray right now. In Jesus' name we pray. God's children say, amen. Come on up, Lady Reed. You take us in five minutes, all right, of worship. Then I'll be, be right behind you as we get back. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glad to be in the house one more day. Praise God. Our Passion Week is coming to an end. Just want to give God the glory, give him the praise for today. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Saturate me with your anointing. Saturate me with your presence. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. Saturate me with your presence. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. Saturate me with your presence. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. Saturate me with your presence. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. I want to have more of your anointing in my life. Saturate me, dear Lord, today. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I'll lift your name on high. Lord, I'll lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the cross to the grave. My debt you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I'll lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the cross to the grave. My debt you pay from the earth to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. 
Lord, I lift your name on high. I just love to sing your praises. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the cross to the grave. My debt you pay from the earth to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the cross to the grave. My debt you pay from the earth to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Christ. I, I had many, I had many tears and sorrow. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave a blessed consolation that my trials come to only to make me strong. I've been lots of places and I've seen millions of faces, but there were times that I let all alone. But in my lonely hours, yet those precious lonely hours, Jesus let me know that I was home. That's the reason why I sing through it all, through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I learned to depend upon His word. Through it all, through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I learned to depend upon His word. So I thank Him for the mountain. I thank Him for the valleys. I thank him for the storms he brought me through. For if I didn't have a problem, I didn't know God could solve them. I never know fate is right to prove. Oh, through it all, through it all. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I learned to depend 
upon his word. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon his word. I thank him for the mountain. I thank him for the valleys. I thank him for the storms he brought me through. And if I didn't have a problem, I didn't know God could solve them. I never know what his sword could do. Oh, 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 through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon his word. I've learned to depend upon his word. Praise the Lord, praise yes, God, I've praise God. To praise depend. God. Upon his word. Come on, clap your hands. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're so grateful for Williams made it. We have been blessed word and we thank God for how these men of God break his word. These men are pastors. They're skillful in uh, rightly dividing the word of God. I was just looking back, Pastor Williams, uh, we go back since 1988. That's so long. Yes, 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 yes. It's been a long time. Amen? Amen. And I'm so glad that uh, we never lost each other's number. Amen? And we have kept in touch. Well, today, the first uh, lesson, this is the Thursday, 14th day of Nisan on the Jewish calendar. We're looking at the preparation for the Passover and becoming from St. Matthew 26. So, saints, I'm going to have you stand everywhere and receive my good friend and co labor writer in the Northeast Bronx, no other person than Pastor Lawrence Williams from the True Week. God bless you, Pastor. Let us pray to be seated in the presence of the Lord. I just want to honor God this afternoon rather, and I just want to send greetings to the house pastor, uh, pastor overseer, pastor Williamson, and to all the saints of bishop, the more than just about one was a fight for me to be here this afternoon, but I try to make it. If you look, you see, I, I just come here just to try to get things together, and I, I don't have a lot of time here, but I'm going to see how much we can do 30 minutes, and we want to look at the main clause why we are here, because I believe from Monday, until now, there's so many, so much being said, and I trust and hope that we all gravitate to the word. David said, "I word have I hid my heart 
and I will not sin. Before the creation of the earth, God said, let there be light, and it was light. He said, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So from the beginning, God have things in place. And you know that Jesus came for because there was so much confusion among the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the religious set and everything. But Jesus came just to make everything just straightforward that we, none of us will ever miss out. So we thank God today that, as the Bible told us, that he grew up as a child and he increased in knowledge. And after increase in knowledge, the Bible tells us one of the time that his mom and his father went up to Jerusalem to pay the tax. And when they realized Jesus was missing, and it took three days before they realized that Jesus was missing. I was looking at what type of mother like that, carrying your son, and three days, you disappear. And they start to, they start to search for him. But where they find him, they find him into a church. I don't know if it looked like this. But where they're asking some question, and we're answering some question. And then when he answered what he had, when the parents find him, of course, he would try to shake up that child and probably say, that child is out of order, stuff like that. Are you rude, right? But the Bible humble to Mary and his father, stepfather, which is Joseph. And he said to them, listen, I'm on my father's business. They was amazed. To Mary and Joseph, for that little young man at the age of 12, for such a strong word. And they get home and say, I'm on my father. Right now, I'm on the Lord business. I'm a carrier of the word. I may not can present it as others, but I will try my best to see what I can do because there's a blessing in the house. i just glad to see each and every one. I just I hope that these words, what you hear from Monday to today, you will make use of it. And David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin. And the word is very essential. Let me say this good. And the speaking in tongues is good. The dressing in is good. But the word is essential of God. And the Bible said the word of God must accomplish what it's sent for. And I didn't know that 71 years ago that God have it in mind that I will stand at this part of wrong. I said 71 years ago. I didn't know that God alone. So oh God is good. God is a good God. And when a seed is true, are you so a seed? You don't know where the seed is going to wash to. Hello. And God bless me to come into this country for a specific reason. And one thing I realized, and let me say this before I get into the lesson, church, I want you to understand this. Anyway, you have vision. You have revelation and what again? Revelation and, and uh, provision. So God always make that. So he make the provision for me to be here today by saying this, put this nice place together that we can meet together. And I believe by then everybody will be satisfied. Now we want to turn our back. Uh, book of St. Matthew chapter 26. And how I look at the words of God, you know, I want everybody to involve. I don't believe that just the pastor alone just get up and talk because sometimes the pastor don't have all the answer. But by looking and by looking at a language, a language can help you to put over the hill. Oh, that's why Paul said, oh, that I may know him. And the 
So when we can do things together, we realize that things will work together. So we're going to read it, and we're going to ask you, please, if you could grant me that favor. If you have a Bible, just stand and let us just read together. And I'm just going to take the main portion of what all of us are going to read together. All right. Now, the first day of the, these of the 11, I'm sorry with my glasses. Let me read again. Now, the first, these of the 11, this disciple came to Jesus, saying unto him, read. All right, all right, just continue to read, and then I will text the rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to stop at the 25 verse, right? Mm -hmm. 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 He answered, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the son, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, twenty five. Then Judas, mm hmm. All right, thank you, maybe seated. Now, Jesus know that his time was at hand. And Jesus have some work to do. So he teaching the disciple and let the disciple what gonna happen to him on the journey. So therefore now the disciple know the um when we're talking about the leaven bread, that means it was served, it was done for a week. The Passover was just for one day. So now the disciple here, Jesus, um teaching it from the beginning that they're gonna betray him. And he talk about Judas, that somebody went out the train there. So therefore now. And Judas is a man like this. He was the man that carried the arm. He was a treasurer. And him all. Oh, now let me say to you, church, the things that you love is that the things that the devil use and get you down. Now, Judas, a carrier here now, he was fighting for power. And everything Jesus does, just like we are in the church. And you see, those that are fighting for power, if he get a chance, one, two, three, will overthrow the leader because he becomes, um, you know, power hungry. So Judas here now was the one that really carrying the treasurer. So he have a talk. If you look at it from the beginning of the chapter coming down, he have a talk with it. The high, the priests and the high priests and all of these things, how they're gonna get to Jesus? Because they don't know how to get to Jesus. Because let me tell you something now. I want you to understand, church. The pastor, when the pastor have loyal saints that very disciple that very loyal to the pastor, you're not gonna allow anybody to just come and walk into the pastor and just take the pastor like that. So you have to make certain that you get into the pastor, into the disciple before you get to the pastor. It's just like a young man looking at a girl and know that young lady might have a brother. He tried to friend that brother 
to get to that sister. Am I talking? So it's the same thing here as the Bible tells us now. So right it said uh, the first day of the, uh, of the Passover, the feast. Jesus know all the settings. And these two persons that take care to put the, make certain that the, um, they get to Jesus and select the Passover, it was Peter and John. Because they were talking about, so they went up there to prepare it. Then in the scripture, now we just want to take the main, main class from the scripture that we could understand. So they heard what was going on. But Jesus, which is God, is a wise God. So he changed a little thing there. And what they change it now, they come to themselves now. And Jesus wanted them to understand that I am. I am the master. And I know exactly what Judas and all of you here talking about. Hello. So therefore, because of that now, Jesus said, well, one of you among the twelve going to bring me down. Let me get to 11, um, to 18 verse. And, and he said, go into the city. Read for me. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Very good. So we're doing it together, right? So they know that Jesus was indulged in this conversation. So therefore now, the disciple come to Jesus and say, when these things going to be done? Because uh, all week we are making certain that we take and we are preparing for the Last Supper. So when this thing going to be uh, done? So Jesus said, since, yes, I know that you understand and you re recognize and you want now that the Last Supper should be fall in place or the Passover rather. He said, but I just cannot do this without this important man. Who would you think was the important man? Come on, church, we talk together. Who you think was the important man that when Jesus said, go to the city and look for that man, bring him? No, this was Judas the king. Because he was there and he took some of my money for that specific reason to sell out Jesus. But Jesus gave him enough time that he could make a turn and repent. But when he realized that Jesus could really say that one out of the twelve going to betray me, in every group you find, you're going to find a Judah. Come on, church. And the Jews just jump right to, intensify right to, because we have a thing which we call professional Christian. And a professional Christian know how to clap, you know how to speak in tongues, you know how to rejoice and all of these things, but the liberty is not right. So Jesus wants them to understand, as I said, I'm pressing for time. And the reason why I say I'm pressing for time, because of from um, overseer here, while well, I make the sacrifice, because just as I live here now, I have to go and help one of the disciples really, really, really struggling in doing certain. Can we praise? Uh, come on, church, clap your hand and give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Come, give Him a praise. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. So, for the interest of time, let me get to the point that I want to put across. Verse 25. Then Judas which betray him, answered and said, Master, did you take a note of up there when and the master said, go to the city and tell them that the master need them because the Passover now, it must take place. So he said, you cannot leave out Judas out. So go, you and Peter, go to the town and find him. And bring him back into the group that he can drink with us. He can worship with us. And I want to tell him that I know what is in his mind. So therefore the disciple then was so curious. But the Bible said, John, the beloved, 
rest himself upon Jesus' bosom and whisper to Jesus, say, Lord, he whisper him, he said, Judah. So he never say a word. So when they get up back there and they will say, no, it is I. I, yes, mm, let me tell you something. Janet love it already because if you notice, Jesus always have Peter, James, and John. Mary. And you look, you see Peter, Peter, and which one went up to the um up to the temple? Come on, church. I want to know if you get here with me. Peter and John went up so they always travel together so when jesus sent these to this tell him that now the time is right now and i'm ready to have the passover bring the disciple bring them in that i can tell them that i can bless them because now i'm gonna narrow down things because remember i have over 75 um disciples follow me but i start to give them the word and then start to step back and then he left 12, and in the 12, there was a Judah. But Jesus knew that his time is at hand, and he must deliver into the hands of the wicked one out there. But only person could sell him out is Judas the carrier. Judas is a man that loved to collect money and fight for position, because Jesus said to them, which is the greatest, you know, you know, if you see somebody walk inside the church here and I, you hear here for X amount of time, and the pastor might say, I'm going to lift this one up here, you're always going to bring some conflict. Am I right? I'm smarter. I can deliver myself better than this one. But Judas, as I said before, he loved the money. And the Apostle Paul said in his writing, his true way, at the priest of gospel for goodwill, for fame, and for filthy lucre. But the lesson here is telling us now about the past over and what takes place. But the subject I want to deal with, Master, do you understand when Jesus said to him, and him said, Master, he gave him the respect. I know you'll find me out. And, but it's too late for me now to bring to give back the, the, the silver or whatever I sold you for. It's too late now. I cannot do it because time ran out and he could not do what he had supposed. And therefore now, the Bible said, God makes certain that he does. The Bible said, the word of God must accomplish what it's saying for. And the, the main clause of this is very important that when we come to church, we make certain that we make certain that we give and eat the Lord's Supper. Praise God. We take the bread and we drink the wine because the Bible says, as often as you do this, you show his death until he comes. Because and bread is life. Praise God. Jesus was teaching the disciple. And uh, what Jesus said to them, he said, give us this day our daily bread. You are getting a, this bread, a daily bread that you didn't get before because all of the pastors that come here and, and talk, all of us, that we might be on the same page, but our approach is different. Can we praise Jesus, somebody? Uh, can we praise Jesus, somebody? So I said, when we come and when we come to look at the word of God, we have to make certain that we paralyze the word of God, that the people can know that it's not only just to come to church and clap, but Jesus knew that the disciple them were following him for three and a half years. And he taught them well. And he told them that he must die. And because he came for a specific reason, so he must dead. And he must resurrect from the grave. And after they resurrect from the grave, the Bible said, praise God. Um, Philip did doubt him. Peter asked, and several of them didn't who didn't understand. They said, well, how can such a man, such a great man, and they do this? Because the Bible said they were very much sorrowful. How can they do this to Jesus? But Jesus knew why he came for. All of these things that will happen to him. But 
Let me look at it and say, oh, Paul, look at the church. Come on, church, look at the church. Paul, look at the church in 1 Corinthians chapter um, 3, and I have some verses up there. Paul said, let me simplify it, and the subject I really want to touch, I just want to touch master. Because if you don't know your master, you can't honor your master. Come on, church. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and finally the verse, he said, as a wise master builder. Am I right? Take your time. As a wise master builder, I lay the foundation. Am I right? Put it there for me, Bishop. All right. Put it there for me now. As a wise. According to the grace of God, God. Yes. Which is given unto me. Mm -hmm. As a wise master, master. builder. Yes. I have laid the foundation mm -hmm. and another build it thereupon. Mm -hmm. But let every man take heed how he build it thereupon. All right. Wonderful. So you saw Jesus laid the foundation. Peter could not touch it. You know. and the reason why Peter could not touch that because Jesus makes certain that he served the Lord's Supper and the Passover with the Jews. Because it's Jews. The, the, the salvation was the um, Jews was the first church. But when Peter came on the scene, because when Peter came on the scene, they didn't recognize him as a disciple. They started to in, investigate his discipleship. And Paul said, when I came on the scene, none of them want to, um, to receive me, praise God. But thank God for Barnabas. Barnabas said, I heard him preach. I heard him teach. So deliver the man. Let the man preach the word of God. No, church, we are in the last church years now, praise God, that the Holy Ghost is not no more in some of the church no more. Hello. The Holy Ghost is not in control no more. You know what is in control now? Intellect and speech. Can we praise Jesus somebody? Can we praise Jesus somebody? Can we praise him again? So Paul realized that the church was in great problem now because we have Brother Peter. We have the other guy, three of them, running the race. Paul said, listen, as a wise builder, master builder, you have to be wise in everything you do. And Paul could bring the words of God to them. Why do you think that Peter could not touch a lot of supper because God did have Paul, Saul, or Saul, Paul, as the last one to come on the scene. And you hear what Paul said? Paul said, what I receive of the Lord, that will I what? Give. And he said, the time of Jesus crucified. What he said? He said, he break the bread and he bless it. And he gave to the disciple. So Paul let them understand. Paul said, you must examine yourself and see if you are in the faith. It's good that you can come here and you can see from Monday tonight to this afternoon. And we're talking about um, the different things that happened in the Passover. But the reason of the Passover, praise God, when something passed over, it passed over into something more powerful. Because Jesus tell the disciples, said, uh, let me tell you, church, it said, greater things you're going to do in my name. Jesus is not going to be there here all the time in the flesh, but he is here, he's in the spirit. Can we praise Jesus? Can we praise Jesus? Can we praise Jesus? Somebody? 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 Can we praise him, somebody? Can we praise him again? Can we praise him again? Can we praise him again? Praise him, praise him, praise him. This pastor that Jesus was talking about, he was talking about the church, praise God. He's not talking about just like when you see the Catholic over there, praise God. He said, everybody go up there, praise God, and take a little piece of bread and put it in their hand and say, we take Lord's Supper, or we take, uh, praise God, the pastor, praise God. But let me tell you something, the word Passover, there must be in your Jesus said, you can't eat my flesh 
and drink my blood. There are none of thee. They look at it and say, well, we look like we are cannibal. But let me tell you something. Praise God. Water is life. Praise God. Bread is life. Oh, can we praise him, church? So let me let you understand. Praise God. If you come in this way, you must make certain that you stay at the feet of Jesus and eat the word every day. Every day you must eat the word because when we go coming and having last supper, praise God, praise God, it's not the bread that gives us the power, but is the word, praise God, we activate with the bread and say, this is a part of the body of Jesus Christ. And when you eat it, you have strength. I believe from Monday to today, when you leave here, you must leave here with some knowledge. You must leave here with some strength. Praise God. He says, it's not his will. I is long suffering towards men that none should be perish, but all should come to repentance. Repentance means that you must turn from the thing that you are doing. Praise God. You cannot have the Lord's Supper and doing just about everything. Praise God. He said the Lord's Supper means overall. Praise God. That means you must present your body before God as a living sacrifice, holy and accepted unto God, which is a reason and service to come here today to hear the word of God. Can we praise him, church? Can we praise him, church? The Passover, Passover to us, praise God. So therefore, we have to be careful how we handle the Passover. We have to be uh, uh, careful, praise God, how we deal with the leavened bread. Because I said before, the, the leavened bread was for the whole week. But the Passover was for that last day. Because Jesus said the last day, Shayama. Jesus said the last day, I must. Turn over in the hands of wicked man. And they're going to kill me. And they're going to bury me. And I'm going to rose from the grave. The third day. Can we praise him somebody? So dear poor praise God. If at all you have the resurrection power. Jesus did not leave a, 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 a screw and turn. But he makes certain that he set everything in order. That the church have no confusion. Can we praise him somebody? We must not change the methyl of the church. We are living in different times. And folks always said, you have to be wise. None of us wise as the Bible here. The Bible says you must use the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. And when you have the, the knowledge of God, you will know how to apply the word. The words of God must be applied in order because God is a, a God of order. And if we look at the lesson here, how the lesson set up coming down all the way, section by section, that you could understand. But as I said, the most important part of it, when they're about to have the Passover, Jesus tell them, go to the city. Because we want to know that Judah involved in it. Because the man have it in intention to overthrow me. And I know it's, it's a dangerous thing to know saints. When you have to work around bedroom, and you know that they don't have their part. But they come and they shout. And they say, Pastor is a good man. And Pastor, I love you. But they least chance they get they sell you out and jesus know that this was taking place and there's someone out of the 11. he didn't call a name you know but as i said john the beloved rest on his shoulder you never see that do a respect on that john rest on his shoulder and his stomach So the Lord's Supper was taken at Simon House. Now, I'm not at Simon House. I'm at Pastor Overseer Frankie's house. <laughs> Can we praise the Lord somebody? Can we praise the Lord somebody? Can we praise him somebody? 71 years. I never know that I would stand on the spot of ground here to talk about this. Because I wasn't. Even though I'm not equipped. 
I just have to ask God. I don't put myself at the front and say, no, I pay, I depend on God. I, I, I don't travel with a script. All I travel with this. Because anything you know different from the Bible is not the Bible. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. I said, I think I over my time now. God bless you. God bless you, sir. I have to run and go and take care of something, but I just, I just honored to have you here. God bless you. Thanks for listening. As I said before, I'm sorry that I late. Please forgive me for my bad behavior. I will make some adjustment the next time in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for the man of God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. It was at his church that Bishop McLean was uh, consecrated as a, as a bishop. Amen? You may be seated. God bless you, sir. God bless you. We are so grateful and thankful to God for all those who are on Zoom. I saw Pastor Lady Mitchell. Come on, praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, from Refuge Temple, Bronx. God bless you, ma'am, for joining in. And those who are on other social platforms, we are so grateful to have you. Today, we are also going to draw in Jamaica. All right, Jamaica. And I, I did see my pastor friend from Africa. Amen? So uh, that's a beautiful thing. We thank God for COVID. COVID launched the church. Amen? Launched the church. He told Peter, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail, prevail, prevail. Prevail. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, praise God. We we thank God for him. Amen. If you didn't get that booklet on the Passover, it, it's exactly what the Jews do with bitter herbs and, and, and all of that. You need to read it. It's also written in Hebrew, all right? You know, they read the Bible, the book from the opposite side, all right? So if you really want to know, one of these days I get a rabbi to come visit us, amen? And, and hear from them, God, especially the ones who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. All right, well, we are going to go into the, the prayer. Get Rob to do this, we'll be praying for our Bronx Borough President. She's been with us many times before, and as you know, uh, being a leader is not easy, amen? But the Bible tells us we must pray for our leader. So uh, just stand everywhere, just gonna give you this refrain, then the next voice you hear is our own Deacon Robinson, and then I'm gonna come right behind him and get right to our speaker. Uh, we're going to be coming to the Lord's table, so we may spend an extra 15 minutes. Then I'll bring you closer, all right, when we sit for the Lord's table. You came from heaven to hurt, to show the way from, from the, the earth to, to the, the cross, sky. my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on. Oh, you came from heaven to earth, to earth to show the way, to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt you pay from the cross, from the cross to the grave, from the grave, the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. 
Deacon Rob, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord God, I pray that in my heart, pray in the name of God, God will educate her, dear God, and ask you, oh God, to deliver, dear God, whatever, dear God, you have to do, Lord God, for the borrow. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I commit her into your hand, and I pray, oh God Almighty, that whatever she has to do, dear God, from now on, let she do it, oh God, not only for the people, dear God, but also to the honor and glory of Father God. I pray that thou will cover her under your blood. Have your own sweet way. Bless us, dear God, as we gather here together. And Father God, this week being a holy week, dear God, I pray that whatever we am to do, that we also do it, O oh God, to all the honor and glory of this. I pray in the precious name of Jesus. Let it be say, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, dear. God bless you. Remain standing. Remain standing. Brother Rob kept us on time. Come on, praise the Lord Jesus. I am so honored and privileged to have uh, our good friend and pastor. These men, we, we go way back. His wife, last time we met was KFC. And then, then we met at uh, Home Depot, praise the Lord Jesus. And, uh, just so glad to see that, you know, our pastors in this closed circuit, we all survived COVID. You know, we can't count any one of our pastors in the gospel tabernacle and apostolic realm that we fellowship with that succumbed to this play called COVID. So we thank God for him. Is he going to break the word of us in 30 minutes? He will be looking at the Jesus Last Supper. Pastor Williams gave us the preparation. Now we're looking at Jesus himself being the Last Supper coming to us from St. Matthew chapter 26. Receive uh, our own Bishop Dennis Nemhard. Clap your hands for him. Bishop Nemhard, Gospel Tabernacle. Amen. You'll be seated for a couple of minutes. Greetings, Pastor. Amen. Then the member of Tabernacle. Amen. Gospel Tabernacle Church. Uh, your wife is there. Uh, greetings to her in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Before I take my 30 minutes out of this here, I uh, want to say this is a big challenge for me to be here. And so I give God thanks for the challenge that I. I'm here. Praise the name of Jesus. But I will just, um, in my, out of my effort, I will just give you a verse of a uh, song, and then I get into your words as we go along. Amen. Praise Jesus. And it's very powerful song. I must have. 
the Savior with me. For right there, not walk alone. I must feel his praise that near me on his arm around his throne. Then my soul shall let him leave, be where he leave. I will go without a murmur, and he'll full step far. One more. I must have the Savior with me. For I dare not walk alone. I must. And his arms around me throw. And, and his arms. Around me, throne. then my soul shall fear no ill. Then, then my soul shall fear no ill. Let him lead me where he will. Let, Let him lead me where he will. I will go without a murmur. I will I go without a murmur. I will. Yeah. Follow still. Uh, oh, yeah. oh. Bishop, just praise the name of Jesus. Just want to acknowledge on Zoom for, for our president. I don't know if you want to unmute your mic and just greet us. Uh, you have to give her access there, Brother Russell. Just want to acknowledge her. Let me go back and see. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, please. I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone. He prays that near me, and is around. Strong, then my soul shall fear no. Let him live, be where he will. I will go without a murmur. I his full step. Uh, oh, Jesus, keep me near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Near the cross. I pre That's precious. Flower. You know that song? Yes. Yeah. Near he me, near the cross, there I pray. Please, the healing stream flows, flows, flows. flows. All right, we got our, our president here. Go ahead, our president, unmute your mic. We could hear you. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Grace and peace. Happy Holy Week. So nice to see everyone today. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you to the Gospel Tabernacle Church right here in our great borough of the Bronx. Thank you for uh, the warm welcome. Thank you for the prayers. I yes, appreciate sir. it during this um, very holy week. We didn't hear you. 
hold on. You just oh. Gotta fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let me make sure my volume is up. Okay. All right, let me hear you now, Boris, if I can hear you. Can you hear me? Good afternoon. Ah, uh, loud, loud and clear. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you to the Gospel Tabernacle Church for the warm and gracious welcome. To God be all the glory to everyone who are gathered here for this wonderful Holy Week. I'm so thankful for all of you. So thankful for your incredible leadership and what you all do each and every day on behalf of our great borough of the Bronx. We're so thankful to have everyone here. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor. Sorry I could not be there in person. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my office today for the moment, but I did want to just take this opportunity just to come on and say thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know that today you're going to have a very special prayer for me, which I'm always grateful because I know prayer changes people and situations. So I'm always grateful for your thoughts, your prayers for my team and I. We're working very hard here at Borough Hall to make a difference, to make sure that we are reminded of our blessings to be a blessing to others. And this week, just reaffirming our commitment to God, our faith as our foundation, uh, reminding ourselves that we are not alone that God is always with us and that there is nothing impossible when we trust in him and believe in his holy power that he can do any and everything. And I am blessed as a child of God, as his public servant to be called to serve as the Bronx Borough president for such a time as this. I'm so grateful to all of you. And I wanted to say thank you for this Holy Week. Thank you to all of the members of the congregation who have joined us. Thank you to those who are watching virtually. I uh, really appreciate this opportunity. I want to say thank you again, Pastor. Thank you all. Really appreciate all of you, First Lady. Thank you to all of our deacons and the elders. Uh, and I wish everyone a blessed Holy Week uh, as we prepare for the resurrection of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you all and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God thank bless you. Me. Thank you very much. Back to you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you again. Come on, clap your hand and give God a praise. Come on, clap your hand and give God a praise. Amen. Praise Him. We are standing in the place called Holy Ground. Praise Him. From the moment you proceed, and dedicate this place under the name of Jesus. The place become holy. It is just like a man and a woman married you. We coming from the club, coming from the dance hall, coming from the you know matter where it's coming from. Once you pronounce that holy matrimony and you. Your bed is not defined. So you no matter who bless this place and dedicate it, as long as it dedicate under the name of Jesus, this place is holy for service. I understand that this whole week is a contest of doing uh, work of God where I look into very careful. And I believe that pastor will not maybe doing that, but after this function over, somebody will look back in the program from back from Monday, you start from Monday. Somebody will look back from Monday and the program and see who come out the best. But I stand in here. If I should go in this scripture well, 
everything that happened from Genesis to Monica, Old Testament, the New Testament, King Version come in. The best still stand. His name is Jesus. This is a very important part of life that we should look into. I realize that we have a teacher here. I know him when he was very young. From Donga 212. I used to be a tender servant. Until he graduated college and come back and went to be a teacher and come back. And, and now he's doing what the Lord told him was supposed to be right. And all the school work that he have done during the week, and for the five months or the four months that I have, he have some book work to send downtown. I don't know where downtown to send it, but some book work I have to go down downtown because exam is coming up in the classroom. And he, no matter what he do, he can't pass none of them pass. He's the teacher; he can't pass none pass. Praise God. When he come back from anywhere downtown, anywhere go and come back to each classroom, then he look into the all of them and said, he have some numbers, and if, if they don't reach them, we call up and said, Sister G, pass. Brother Pale, and that one pass. Out of the classroom, if you don't be careful, you have only three or five may pass the exam. Akashama. Randa Yababas. I mean, the house of God. Rakashata. Echo. And I heard Paul went to the highest college and come back and he speak to these Gentiles. Because the Jews were very educated people and he speak to the Gentiles was low class. And he said to them, I'm not coming to you with, a, with my background of education, but I'm coming with you, you know, Mark, Sunday, with powerful, come with a word that you can understand what I'm saying. Um, the Bible could write more powerful and more um, big words could in the Bible that do, that we understand what is going on. But Jesus himself break down the Bible into a very simple way that we can, uh, us can understand uh, what the Bible is saying. So if you don't pass your college degree, you can understand what the Bible is saying. Hallelujah. And to go to heaven, we have to understand what the word of God is saying. Now, when I start, I'm going to read, read uh, I can't, get, I don't have much time to see the scripture here. If I start to teach it from the, from the verse, to the, from verse 1 to the end here, it's, it takes a good time. Because I have to go from verse to verse. Every verse I've been read of a revelation. So I can't just, that's so, and that's so it go. Amen. When you get your work, work you can't, you will never pass. You got to sit down and beat your head and come back. Hey, Shabbat. Beat your memory and say, ah, I got to pass this. Come back and take a nap and come back. For you have to pass the exam. Oh, my Shabbat. Hallelujah. Hey, I feel God. And so we are here in the Holy Ghost Church. And we are right here. And I know I bring God with me. Praise him. Hallelujah. And I want to bring something that we learn, but we don't listen. 
When we learn, we have to read, but at the same time, we don't listen. I know how to spell, I know how to write, but we don't listen. And the important part is to listen. Yes, he said, he that have a ears, let him hear. He or Shama, what the church is saying, what the spirit is saying to the church. We have a lot of spirit. I wish I have time. Rocko Mama Satire. We have a lot of spirit. We have the feel good spirit. Rocko Mama Sanda. We have the education spirit. We have the background spirit. We have our English spirit. We have a way of, you know, some of it got in his place. Uh, but I don't want an adult spirit. I want the anointed spirit, which is God himself. God told me in the scripture, he said, if you're anointed, he said, I will fill you with words. How much time here? You see the last supper, if anybody can teach this and serve this round eye. Because uh, you got to be holy like Jesus to serve this. You got to be dedicated. Let me read one verse. I don't know what you call me, sir. Shot man. I came, I don't know why, but I wish I get time to expose this to you. There's somebody reach home today. I want to go over and take that pillar and put it aside. I said, I want this pillar. I want this. Listen, on the last day, on the last day, this last day of this feast. The Bible said Judas oh, betray him. Hallelujah. On the last day, why he had changed? Again, you see, everything we read is not the version that we read. There's a revelation at the end of the last day. What is the law? What is the why? He killed him on the last day. Virgin. When you start to live right, somebody won't kill you. Nobody now kill you for sin. Everybody's killing you for righteousness. So when you start to walk right, you go have a left and right. Don't you want pity for this fight? And Jesus said to them, any man should follow me. Take up my cross and follow me. Deny this. You can't follow Jesus in this. I wish I have church today in this place. You could be two of man. We gotta deny this. If you want to go to heaven, deny this. Romans talk about it. I'm not reading the scripture. I'm not reading the scripture. Let's have one more. And then we give prevent. Because we don't know what to do. And verse 26 said, And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. And break it and give it to his disciple and said, Take it, this is my body. No, what happened now? The body of Jesus is not here. So he made a symbol like a summer. 
and he he must have the no son. Hey, I feel holy. Have the no flame of the earth. He must taste different from every food. You know, some medicine don't want to take it because it's well bitter. To have the holy kid's nose to, to swallow it. And this type of service that we are going to, we want to let you know that this Lord's Supper is not communion, it's Lord's Supper. When you gave in, that's how Judas come in at it. Because Judas take it and no say no worthy. And when we take last supper and no worthy, we are going to have bad mind. We are going to have death. We are going to have sickness. We are going to sleep. And sleep bring darkness. And darkness bring death. So that's why Jesus crucified. Because Judas start to sleep. Judas start to get dark night. And all he see is death. But I want to let the church know. If you walk after the flesh. You and I cannot please God. So when last supper come around. I'm breaking break it down for you, man. When I don't hear some man, trust me, Bishop. It's your church. Come back at your son, man. But it's different. That almighty man. Come on, the church. I have we are talking about. We're not talking about this earth here. Yeah. For we are just passing through. So journey through. Everything that I possess in this life. I'm going to just borrow it for a time. I'm going to leave it. Some we are some more. And only one thing you are carrying with you. Did you holy and you holy? You are carrying with you. This is your one soul. And when I examine. I'm talking about last supper now. When Jesus. When they crucify him. And them read it. Because he shot me. That means much time. God almighty man should. Hallelujah. 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 Rakosha mama mai. Hallelujah. 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 Rakosha mai. Rakonaya masata. And so you know, they make the body and start to heat. And he took the cup. Lord God Almighty, I feel like talk to you one more. He took the cup and he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink. He all, eat all of it. Reverend, you have to come back and break it up. Because this is important. And I, not, I just want the church to be, everybody to be here. For I need the church to know what this is all about. This scripture now left me. I'm coming back with it. For it has passed forward. We got to understand. Me now leave no no here. Me now go ahead and left no now no. Me want to come with me. I don't care if you are tabernacle. Are you a church of God? Are you a Baptist? Me not left no no no. Uno come. And listen, Virgin. Ella, what is going on here? I'm telling you, tell bishop and pastor, say, put on your title. Put on your title. And let's humble yourself as a little child to lead God's people. And stop the big. Nothing wrong with overseer. Nothing wrong with bishop. Nothing wrong with none near when you want to call him. But please don't use the name above God. And that is what is going on now. 
That's why they might betray you. They betray you. They betray you. And they betray you. And they betray me. Because I speak the truth. When you speak the truth, you will have enemy. That's why Jesus died. Because of the truth. If you don't want to hear truth, you're not going to. If you start preaching truth, I feel. Truth. Truth. And then you pop off it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which was shed for many. Oh, yeah. I me shed the blood. And mama shed the blood. And papa shed the blood. And you shed the blood. A grandmother shed the blood. A grandpa shed the blood. This come from the Almighty God. In Genesis, shot now. In Genesis, from beginning, in the book of James, chapter 1, he showed you everything was good. To two. Perfect. When he reached in that four, there was an enemy. There was a murderer. Can't kill him. Right in there. So if you believe you're going to serve God and you're going to get some mark or some big lick, let me tell you something. You are in the wrong church. You can't serve God and you'll get licked. You can't serve God and you'll get beaten. You can't serve God and get switched system. You can't serve God and people don't mock you. We won't go ahead, but we can't take the lick. We won't go ahead, but we can't take the disgrace. We won't go ahead, but we can't take the lie up our way. They come on Shammai. We got to take lie. We have to take abuse and everything for the witness. I hear David talk about this and for the witness shall rise up against you. Falsely. Last Supper. I have another thing to tell you about the spirit. spirit. This is not study. This is the spirit of God talk. When me are talk, me know. Listen to this. I listen to the voice. Almighty God. I don't know if you see him right now. But I'm seeing that the spirit. He's talking to me in the spirit. Nama Shama. Hallelujah. He tell me what to say. And what to do. He tell me how to. When I, when I go in church sometime. And when I saw the church. And when I saw the prayers come up. I just said church. You're sorry for you today. But nobody can testify today. Come on we're going to pray all day. For your testimony is not holy. But if you pray. Nobody tell lie in prayer. I don't care who you are. Nobody tell lying prayer. For your testimony, lying. Preaching, lying. But when you call us to pray, let me tell you something. A violent look at sin and you can't see no more. You can't tell no lie. There's the holy true thing that can carry me and you through. It's prayer. Prayer will never make mistakes. Guess what? Everything in us, I tell you, say, be in peace. You know, I tell the pastor, sick like belly. You know, I hear? You know, I hear? 
God, I was that door. You're not here. God. You're not here. For if the Lord is here, what you say? I let go to the grave of the mark. Why will God forgive you? You still mad the grave of adultery. So God said in the Bible, do not tell nobody you sin. Tell Jesus, tell people them your fault. But you sin. And they can't carry it. Man can't carry sin. But when men are good, I me tell you, me sin. I just take on you to your side. 30 years you bring it back. 40 years you bring it back up. Randa Yama Satai. Hallelujah. But I come in back to teach this last supper. I gotta bring it down. Ah, I can't get the full letter, man. Because I didn't get that much time. But I satisfied. Come on, clap your hands. I'll be hands back, I'll be back, I'll be back. Come on, clap your hands for Bishop. Thanks. As Bishop says, when I look back through the week, I think every pastor got their right scripture. Come on, praise the Lord Jesus. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Praise God. Every, every, amen. You may be seated in God's presence. Ah. Uh, Mm, 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 mm. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here with us. Fill us with your love, and for each blessings. God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We are preparing to draw nigh to the table. Hallelujah. We are going to I want to thank I want to thank our bishop. Saints, this is our first time doing this. And when I sat down in prayer, I said, God, who will be the inaugural pastor? Bishop Sterling, Bishop McLean, Bishop Davison, Pastor Granby, Pastor Fernandez, Dr. Toba, Pastor Williams, and Bishop Nemhart. Come on, clap your hands for these men. They have really worked. I also see my dear wife online. Praise God, and we thank God for our Bronx Board President. Praise God. Uh, Deacon Rob prayed for her. I just want to add to that since she's there. Bow your heads. Father God, here we are, God, as we look to Abakosha, leadership. I remember God when she was campaigning, she was not yet the borough president. God, she graced this house. And I said to her, it seems like everyone who passed this house get elected to their office. God, she has been a friend of this ministry. Remember, God, when we were in need of PPE and for the mask and for the vaccines, God, she made the way possible, opened the opportunity for us to have, oh God, the van outside to vaccinate the community. When we needed, my God, backpacks, oh God, she opened up her office. And Lord God, deliver them to this house. I pray, God, that you prosper her. I pray, God, that you anoint her. God, it's important that we have our women of God who know you in these, oh God, unique and special places. Grant her, God, favor. God, if her desire, God, to go higher, God, you, God, open the doors bless her. God, here we are as a saint, 
coming together, Lord God, to draw nigh to your table. God, is not any good that we have done, but because of your grace and your mercy. You said, God, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive. And God, today, God, we're going to come before you in prayer. Oh, God, putting before you, God, our faults and our sins. Oh, God, the bishop reminds us, as the Bible said, confess your faults one to another, but not your sin. You confess your sins to him who is faithful and just to forgive. Whatever we fail to ask, God's fail not to grant it unto us. In Jesus' name we say, amen. Come on, let's say praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God, praise God. At this time, I'm going to ask our deacons to pray themselves. Table. I'm going to ask the saints, let's occupy these first two rows that set the table. All right, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read for you two scriptures. And then we are going to pray. As Bishop rightfully says, we are going to pray. Amen. And we are going to pray. In prayer, we confess. Amen. Amen. Even the priest had to go in and wash himself. How many times, church? Seven times. And the Bible said if the priest uh, was not worthy, he would have <laughs> dropped dead in the most holy place. And they would pull him out, oh God, once a year. So our first scripture reading comes to us, uh, glory to God, from the gospel according to St. John chapter 6. St. John chapter 6. Reading there from verse 38, find it, John 6, praise God. And then we're going to go over to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Start at 31. Let's start at verse 31. John chapter 6, reading from verse 31. Praise God. Also, my dear wife is on. I guess she got on there doing a break. We still have Pastor Lady Brenda. Thank you, my dear sister Tamika. God bless you, brother Ellis. Our, uh, our brotherhood, former president, has been on from early. Praise God, brother Ellis. Praise God. Let's stand for the word. Praise God. Let's stand for it. St. John chapter 6 from verse 31. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who came down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said unto him, Lord, evermore, give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. 38. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent you. Let's jump down to verse 38. Sorry, verse 48. 48. For I, I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread that cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread I will give is my flesh, uh, which is what I give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore stood among themselves saying, How can this man give us this flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, Except you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, he have no life. Verse 54. He who eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up, rapture him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood 
dwelleth in me and I in him. As the living Father, so that he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live ever. God's children say, Amen. Let's turn to the next text, after which we're going to consecrate ourselves before the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And I'd like us to read this together. We're going to start at verse 17. You can follow the monitors. Uh, you can share the text to uh, Brother Jenkins online. Right? Just share that online so those online can really see the text. Praise God. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 17. Let's read together. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not, that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For where there must also heresies among you, that they who are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper, for in eating everyone take it before the other his own supper, and one is hungry and the other is drunk. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in, or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you now. 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, as this do in remembrance of you. And after the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do as often as he drink it in remembrance of you. Verse 26, For as often as he eat this bread and drink this cup, he do show the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, and we should not be condemned with the world. 33. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. 34 and last, and if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that he come not together unto judgment, and the rest will I set in order when come. As children say, I'm going to ask you to make an altar. Take two minutes. Confess our sin. Give a call. To consecrate me now, I service, Lord, by thy power of grace divine. Let my soul look up. Let my soul. Look up. And my will.
Let us all talk to the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Cleanse us. Come to you. Come 
Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, our deacons are going to come consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by thy power of grace divine. Let my soul look up. Let my soul look up with a steadfast, with a steadfast soul. In that, oh yes, draw me near, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy cross, where thou hast died. Oh, draw me nearer, nearer. Nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious, to thy precious bleed. Oh, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy cross. Where thou hast died, draw me nearer, 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 blessed Lord, to thy precious, to thy precious, leave This is the body of the Lord, which was broken for you. As often as you eat it, you show forth your death. Church, E.T., all of it. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Of Jesus, what can make me whole? What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious, oh, precious is that flow that makes me white. That makes me white as snow no other found no other found i know nothing nothing but the blood of the raise your glass this is the blood of the new testament which was shed for you and for me over 2,000 years ago. As often as you drink it, you show forth his death till he comes. Church, drink ye. I am free. Praise the Lord, I am free. No longer bound. No longer bound, no more chains, no more chains, holy. Come on, stand to your feet. My soul is resting. Lord, it's a blessing. Lord, it's a blessing. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I am free. Yes, I am Praise, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, I am free. No longer bound, no longer bound, no more chained. Who the sun set free, he's free. My soul is resting. 
Lord, it's a blessing. Lord, it's a blessing. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am free. I want to thank you, saints. I want to thank you for your sacrifice. I want to thank you for some of you have not missed one day. And God is taking record, oh God, of your faithfulness. And it will come up to him as a memorial. On our first day, we had our Muslim brothers. And we are so grateful to God for our Bishop Nemar for closing. Yes, Bishop, we'll give you more time when you can dissect the word house. Amen? So the people can understand the weight and the magnitude of coming to the table and abstaining from the table. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We want to thank our Bora president out of her busy schedule. She was right there in her office. Thank God for Zoom. She was able to slide right in and attend our service. We appreciate her. Our mayor is dealing with my funeral, Massadequa, because our own soldier, man of, uh, of this say office, gone down senselessly in far Rockaway. Praise God, we pray for them. Let's bow your heads before we close. It's always good to bring an offering so you can come. Offering will play this right here. Praise God. So come, come unto the Lord. Bless us, give liberally as He prosper us. Praise God, praise God, praise God. As you come, tomorrow will be a high day. It's Good Friday. We have always done Good Friday. And we start at 10 o'clock to 1. And we'll be looking at the seven last words, the seven last words uh, from the cross that our Savior spoke. So please invite a friend, uh, invite uh, an unsaved, right? So we like them to hear the word. They should say on the day of Pentecost, men and brethren, what must I do to be saved? What he can make sure the pool uh, is, come on up with your offering. The pool is uh, prepared. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Lady Curry. God bless you, Sir Lillian. God bless you, Bishop. Praise God. We thank God for you. Deacon Blight is back. God bless you. God bless you. Everyone in the house. Praise God. Praise God. Also, just a quick reminder, our bus trip to Lake Compounds, all right, May 27th. We want to give you ample notice. The banner will be outside to invite the community. It's uh, our seniors, those who are 65 and above, you only $100. And the children, those between the age of uh, 4 to 12, it's 100. And for adults, everyone above 100, um, I mean, age 14 and above, it's $120. We didn't do uh, sight and sound this year, because if when we did the numbers, the cheapest we could have that for is $250. The bus fare has just escalate all right so lake compounds is a very beautiful theme park i know my seniors would enjoy yourself my mom always look forward to going there so i'm gonna get some good memories a funnel of cake amen praise the lord jesus oh praise god yes 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 let the words of my mouth meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight but before we go our doxiology uh coming to us from numbers Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, 25, and 26. We started out with Aaron, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. I reminded you when we go to a funeral service, it's good to come together, but the occasion is not pleasant. But today, uh, it was not Good Friday 2,000 years ago. But today we celebrate Good Friday. Numbers chapter 6. At verse 22. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, In this way he shall bless the children of Israel, uh, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee, and the Lord keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will 
bless them. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Praise the name upon you. God bless you. God bless you. Greet somebody. Amen. Amen.